as these guys would call it, I was playing funky jazz crap. <laughs> But, um, I, I was playing at the railway with a with a fusion band at the time when um, fusion, Magnum eh? were playing on. What did you used to play on? Yeah, Thursday. We used to play on a Thursday at the railway. Yeah. And, we used and to play on the full night. Used to man. pack it, pack it. You know, they were out on the, on the streets to see Magnum, and we'd have about twelve people come and see us. But, uh, which would which would often be a couple of the guys from Magnum had come down and say so. We sort of knew each other before it happened, and um, the guys were on tour with Def Leppard. In '79, I think it was '79, and um, I got a call um, from Tony. He was saying, uh, "Do you want the job?" <laughs> but they want. They had a test for me, <laughs> and there's a song on um, Marauder Inversion. called "Invasion," Inversion, which, was a, yeah. which was a fast <laughs> lick. Basically, as long as I could play that, then everything else would be. So all the they've got this church hall in in Sutton or some yeah. in Sutton Coalfield. Yeah. All the gear set up, full crew, everything. I thought this this looks good, this is the business, you know, and uh, and they all went into the back room and left me there with Wally the bass player. Well I've spent like a week, you know, learning several songs. And they weren't really interested in that. But I don't know if they'd had a smoke or something or somebody put something in the tea. But the next thing I know they're they're doing acrobats and Circus acrobatics. It was making a pyramid. 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 A pyramid, I believe. And I'm looking at them going, I'm sitting here, I've got all these keyboards, I've never had so many keyboards in my life set up around me, raring to go, and they're making pyramids. They're getting up top of Human these, pyramids, so. I believe. And falling over. And then Tony said, well, let's get to the pub. Oh, and yeah. uh, so we did, and he said, do you want the job? I said, well, don't you want to hear me play? And he said, yeah. Do you want the job? I said, yeah, okay then. When Mark came into the band, it, it started to feel um, more like a real band. It felt like the band was actually doing something pretty good then. And we sort of, we actually started to sell uh, records, 